Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadja and I'm a mom of two and a wife. So if you're new here, that is who you listening to. And let's get into dinner. I'm making dinner for my family of three now. We are family of four, but my oldest son is not here with me. So I'm making dinner for family of three. So we're going to be making broke dinner. I'm a full-time construction mom, and the month is almost at the end, so you're probably just trying to stay on the budget so you don't fall out of whack. So, this is typically our broke dinner. I know people are going to be making some mashed potato with some prime rib and asparagus on the side with some salad for dinner today. So, make sure you season up your meat. Make sure you season up with a lot of salt. It's not going to be salty, I promise you. I mean a lot of salt but not overkill and so I just like the amount that I'm doing. This is a huge prime rib that I slice into two so me and my husband and toddler can enjoy. So make sure you season up your meat with just basic season. And I'm just using here asparagus is very good for you and I'm using it for a side dish on there. And I'm going to be using mashed potato too for a side dish so we have a two side dish with our steak so i'm gonna go ahead and cut up the asparagus the part that i don't want is just the bottom just don't want you can keep you can choose to keep the bottom it's up to you and i go ahead and have water in my strainer and adding in a little bit of vinegar and went ahead and cut up my salad and put it in there let it soak for at least five minutes to kill any unwanted bacteria on your salad and you can spin it and rinse it once that is over but make sure you put no, water. vegetable vinegar water with in vinegar. your so water vinegar. to wash your lettuce and down the you don't understand wash your lettuce before you eat them there are a lot of bugs that seem to love sitting in lettuce so if you try to take the lettuce off one after the other you can see what i'm talking about and some of dirt stays in the lettuce so for you to prevent eating dirty stuff or bugs, make sure you soak your lettuce in a vinegar water. I mean, like two, three spoons of vinegar in a little bit of water and let your salad soak for five minutes at least. It will kill everything. I went ahead and cut it up to the size that I want. And I just put it straight into my strainer. It's a salad strainer and a spinner. I don't know if <laughs> it's a salad strainer and a spinner. That's what I know. It just it spins all the extra water on the salad, but I use that as my salad washer. I just put the salad in there and put my water in my vinegar and let it sit whilst I'm doing something else. Once it sits for a while, then I'll just take it out of the water. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the extra vegetables that I'm gonna add in my salad. I'm using cucumber, tomatoes, and some onions and carrot in my salad everybody eats your salad different but this is how i make my salad i make sure i add in as much vegetable that i can get so we can enjoy some vegetable because it's hard to eat vegetable by itself so any chance you get to let your family eat vegetables make sure you do it and i went ahead and cut it up and wash it later with this product with these vegetables you can just wash it under the sink water but sometimes i love to put it in the vinegar water too and just wash it up that's for me and you can do whatever you want and this is my carrot this carrot was so tasty i got it out of shop and it was so juicy and nice so cut up to the size that i want i know salad everybody likes their salad any size that they want and i went ahead and cut up my red onion it's very good in salad that's for me if you want white onions or yellow onions you can go for it but red onions are very good in salad and that's why i think so much because i eat a lot of onions and i went ahead and cut up my cucumber to the size that i want and this is a bite size that my toddler can eat and my husband likes it like that he doesn't like it too big so i try to compromise and make everybody happy cut up my cucumber nice and cut up my onions nice and thin i'm gonna cut up my carrot to the size that i want and it's gonna make this salad look more appetizing i don't know if you put more colors in your lettuce it's just not just green everybody seems to love it and that's what this salad is gonna be gone in the next day i made a lot and 
we're just gonna be eating it for the next two days so this time i make i make it and i ended up cutting up the tomatoes and the tomatoes was on a little bit of salted side but it was still nice for salad because it was from our garden and the taste of fortune so our garden is over and this is the last stuff we got from our garden tomatoes we have a lot that i still ripen so i went ahead and cut look how bright the chopping board looks and once you put it on the lettuce it's gonna be looking more brighter and it's gonna be making your family want to eat more eat more salad i don't know why i'm blabbering so much but it looks like i'm catching cold and i don't know so this is finally my vegetables that i'm gonna put on my side i went ahead and put extra virgin oil and i added in some butter to cook my steak and with cooking a steak i saw a chef on facebook that taught me this i always try to learn different stuff from people and add my own twist and he said once you put your stick in avoid flipping it many times just put it on one side for three minutes and flip it to the other side for three minutes so it's nice and cooked if you want it not totally cooked it's gonna be perfect like that I like my steak well cooked and my husband like it well cooked too. So we're going to be cooking this on a little bit high heat. Not too much heat but not medium for 3 minutes. And once my steak is cooking I went ahead and just give my salad a spin. And I dumped the water out of it and I went ahead and spin it and spin it again. And get the actual water out of the salad. This machine works beautiful. I used to use paper towel to get rid of any extra water, but this is amazing. This is the second one that I bought this year. I threw out the older one because I broke it. And this is what my salad is looking at. And I'm gonna be serving my husband. I went ahead and scoop up some salad. And I'll add some of the vegetables that I cut, carrot, onion, and some all right, all right. tomatoes thank you so much to make it more brighter for my husband and he likes italian dressing but i didn't have i don't know why i bought all of garden dressing he liked it but he didn't like it as much but remove and i add in a little bit of olives if you have olives i like pepperoni with my salad that's me and i went ahead and add in my olive garden sauce and it was ready for him to enjoy before the food is ready you want to eat your salad first before your food is ready now you're gonna be full you can eat your greens make sure you eat your greens and the time has come for me to flip look how nice and golden this steak looks on the other side i just let the totally on for three minutes no touching no flipping just let it cook for three minutes and do the same thing to the other side once it's almost done i put in my target so it can absorb the butter and the butter and the seasoning on the steak so it can be nice and crispy i just don't we don't want our target mostly we want it a little more crispy so that is how I did it, and once I was done, I served my husband first so he can eat while I'm still doing stuff because I wanted to just take my time and eat and still feed my toddler. So that was what we did <laughs> on this night, and we really enjoyed. I didn't think this meal was gonna come out that good, but it came out perfect. It was three minutes, and everything took it nice, and I am ready to serve, and it looks. So amazing. I can't believe I'm watching this. It looks so amazing and it tastes so delicious. So if you want to make some good meal, put your heart into it and love for the people that you're going to be making it with. And scoop up their sizes and put it on the plate for my husband to have it. And this is how his plate turned mm -hmm. out. He has a little bit of mashed potato, a little bit of asparagus, and a portion of steak wow. for him to enjoy. And it's almost done with the salad. Mm -hmm. I told you, make sure you eat your salad veggies first mm -hmm. before you head into the food. And after everything, this is how the kitchen is looking. I have to clean up after all this. And at this point, I was done eating. And my husband wanted pineapple and watermelon juice after all this struggle in the kitchen. But he helped cut up the pineapple and I juiced it out of our juicer. If you have juicer, it's easier. But if you don't have it, you can use blender and just strain it how you want it so you don't have chunks in there and it literally took me like two minutes to finish up so it wasn't a big deal so when i got the long day of cooking working and coming back on the cook i just have a like fresh juice and 
it was easy for me to juice it out. This is just basically watermelon and pineapple juice, and it was amazing. For me to tell you this juice. If you haven't tried it, try making juice at home. I know I've been posting a couple videos about making juice, making dessert, and making satisfying smoothie and this is the final result and i'm pouring in our jar so it will be easy to pour out once you're ready to drink it i don't know why but for some reason when you make juice there's a foamy part on top from the juicer and i don't want it i always end up throwing up and i cover it up so he can enjoy to put it back in the fridge for it to chill up so he can enjoy it later and that's basically it and thank you so much for watching my videos and i did the second dishes and make sure you hit the bell icon to subscribe and for a notification thank you so much